Hey everyone, I am back with another new video. I know it's been a really long time and uh, apologize for that. But there hasn't really been a whole lot to say and I think everyone's doing pretty well with wardrobe. Uh, what I wanted to talk about today though is something related to archive. And it's a feature that I'm not sure people know a whole lot about, so I wanted to show people how this works. And uh, the feature is really the ability to link items that you add to your archive to existing items in your wardrobe if you don't get a match at the time that you actually put it into archive. So I've been going through today and doing a few entries. Um, with the new Blueberry and uh, Rain collaboration outfit. And I want to show you how I can put these in archive. So I've got my uh, source files right here, and these are the boxes that they came with. And I'm gonna go ahead and put these into wardrobe and just get them matched up. So here are the Catch Me Boots. This is the Rain piece of the collaboration. And I'm gonna go ahead and pick this up, hold down Control and drag it to my archive. And like normal, it's going to pop up first and ask me which drawer in my archive I want to put it into. And this is going to go into my shoes. The second thing, though, it pops up is a, um, a question box asking you which item that's already in wardrobe you want to associate this with. And as I look through these here, I do not see the catch me boots that I have in my wardrobe. So I'm gonna go ahead and click cancel because I'm not finding a match. Now normally what people will do is they'll sort of stop the process there, they'll go back and they'll rename the entry or the box that they're trying to add to match the title exactly and hope that helps or they'll res out a basket from the archive and they'll put the box into there and rename it so that it matches. And, and that's great, but it takes a lot of time. <laughs> and I don't really like doing it. Let me do one more here really quick. I've got the lingerie set uh, from the Blueberry part of this collaboration and my title in wardrobe doesn't match this at all. It actually says, catch me lingerie. So I don't expect this to match, but I'll go ahead and drag this out. And I'm going to go ahead and put this into clothing for the folder. And it found the Catch Me Bunny Parts, which is this other box here. Uh, and I'll show you that in a minute. But it didn't find the Catch Me Lingerie. So let me go ahead and click Cancel there as well. And while we're at it, let me go ahead and grab up this item. And I'm going to go ahead and drag it in. And it is body parts mostly. It's actually got some gloves in it too, but we'll call it body parts. And I look through here and I see, aha, there we go. Catch me bunny parts. That's the one that matches. So in this case, I do have a match. So I can click number five here. And it's actually going to associate that. Now let's jump over to wardrobe. And let's take a look at this. So here's everything that I've done today. And I've just recorded another video about why you see so many duplicate entries here. So I'm gonna try and explain that in the other video. So stay tuned for that. But for our purposes here, here's my lingerie, here's my bunny parts, and here's my boots. And if you recall, the bunny parts matched and the lingerie and boots did not. So I'm going to go ahead and refresh this, and we should see that our archive symbol here, once it refreshes, waiting, waiting, there we go. So our archive symbol for Catch Me Lingerie still shows the cabinet, meaning it's not archived. Same for the boots, not archived, but the bunny parts did get a match for the archive because that's the one we added. So how do we then get those two that didn't match to line up with the entries we have. And to do that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up here to this search archive box in the upper right hand corner. Now I have my whole wardrobe filtered by what I've done today, but you don't have to do that. Uh, so I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna go ahead and type in catch me. And I'm gonna hit enter. And now we're gonna find everything that I have archived today that has the words catch me in it. So here is the first one in body parts. This is the one that matched and we can see it's got the picture. The second one here in clothing, the lingerie, didn't match. So it just shows this brown box. 
If I want to link it up though, I can come to this item here, got a little chain link, and I can click on that, and it says link to a wardrobe item. So I can go ahead and type in catch me lingerie. Now, in my case, I know it's a little weird. I'm gonna have three of them here. I'm just gonna choose any one of them. Uh, you will most likely only have one. Again, check the next video to see why I have three. And choose okay. And there it goes. It links that to the catch me lingerie. And I can come over here, here's my boots. There goes the loud car. And I can change this to catch me boots. Again, I have three of them, but we're just gonna choose one. I choose okay, and that links up. Now, if I go ahead and click the X here to clear out this archive search and just go back to everything I've entered today, you can see that at least for one of my lingerie entries, I now have the archive button and the same thing for my boots. So that's it. If you need to go in and put something in your archive, but it doesn't find a match, there's a really simple way for you just to continue going forward and link those up after the fact without having to do any renaming or fancy box resining or any of that. Uh, I hope this is helpful. Just a really quick tip on using the archive. And don't forget to like and subscribe and click the bell uh, for those few times that I do post videos. But like I said, there'll be one coming shortly after this one that sort of goes through my new method for using wardrobe and answers the question of why I have three of each of these entries. All right, until then, take care. Bye-bye.